Hi. Today I want to show you how to make baby shoe. It means it looks like a shoe, but it's more for a beauty or it's not a sock. It sucks. It's a shoe. So here I have three uh, pieces of each. And I want to show you uh, what they for. The infusion, the top fabric, and the inside fabric. The lining. Exact the same. You see the shoe uh, track. And here we have the same infusion. The outside is inside fabrics. Um, this one is um, made with um, some kind of uh, rope, you know, and um, it will go, I will show you where. I have uh, the, um, <clears throat> this kind of method, you know, and uh, I have a beautiful little flower that will go on top in the front. So let's start. Here I will use iron first to connect some pieces together. We need to connect the top piece with fusion piece with iron and uh, a sole of the shoe needs to connect also with the iron see the infusion you have to feel with the rough side this is the inside the sticky part so i'm taking a cloth and i'm not taking chances with um iron because i'm afraid if it's gonna stick to the iron this infusion it's very delicate so I'm going to cover and I will go and this is the method. You don't iron it. You put the iron on top, but you don't go on the sides. And you keep a couple of seconds to see that the, the glue of the infusion will melt and it stick two fabrics together. I don't move my iron on the sides. I just press my iron and hold. It's good for the beginners to start doing small projects because uh, uh, it's easy. If you make some mistakes, it's easy to fix them. Now the parts are stick together, if you can see. And they stick very well. I will go and uh, cut all the um, uh, parts that are sticking out and I don't need them later. First I need to finish the sole. Now the sole I put on top the gum cloth. <coughs> And uh, I put the iron on top. Exact the same place that I need to place on the sole. All right. Let's see if it stick together. Yes, it did. It's sticky. In this point, I will iron the other parts that... Um, ready to go in just to be sure that they are straight and um, comfy for me
I will do another part in case just to be sure that um, if something goes wrong I have another piece this is uh, for you know the stripe and um, I like to have uh, if it's small parts I like to have some spare piece to be you know to feel comfortable that I have more not less now I'm done with the iron and this is the piece that will need to go and I will give the stitch inside and turn and then it will become exact the same you know stripe I'm mingling leave it or don't so I'm thinking and I'll make decision when uh, when I come closer because when I'm making decisions saying yes no and then I'm changing my mind so let's go and do <clears throat> the sewing parts we're going to the sewing machine well it is important to remember that uh, first we are connecting the pieces inside so we having we are doing the stitch the inside to connect this is the first piece that we are connecting on the machine as I said the inside stitch it means the inside stitch it's inside stitch so this is the stitch goes in first so uh, we're going uh, left side to the left side and sewing in let me see where the fabric is lays first the connection comes here the inside stitch back and forth stage when I'm coming to the curve I move a little bit you know uh, that the fabric to have the round stage I rather to go a little bit slower if I make mistake this is because I have no patience so Back and forth stitch at the end. Now I'm turning on the other side and I will give the stitch on top of the fabric. Here I'm gonna give the stitch. check your thread because I like to continue making work continue 
so laying down I'm moving the stitches toward the fabric the um, top fabric and giving the outside stitch close to the edge I'm doing this first time too so uh, now it's like learning procedure okay, little by little running nowhere have the stitch This is what we have and um, <clears throat> don't worry about uh, that um, little bit gathering because we have to have a little gathering here so this is how it goes this is it so it's not bad it's not uh, damaged this is how it goes then we'll give the another stitch on top later on after I check everything and see ensure that um, everything is okay I will probably need to install this piece before I'm gonna connect the this shoe those ends it means that I will connect them from this and I'm gonna give the stitch here this is gonna be the stitch here but before that I want to be sure that I have the sticky part here and the shoe will be connect from one piece to another. All right, here where I notice that I make mistake. The mistake is I supposed to do the sewn inside the piece and now I will need to open up and uh, sew this piece and then I'll go back to you this piece need to be sewn inside with the uh, stitch together and the two stitches already and it's a little bit upsetting but as I told you this is my first time too so I'll open up and I'll go back to you I did connect this piece and I did connect the uh, um, piece that will be connected to the, the other side and it will connect later on this uh, the opposite uh, piece and let's go further all right going back on the sewing machine and I need to connect this uh, rope that uh, I showed you in the other fabric uh, but I decided to make the main fabric 
so I just make the bias cut the bias and I put inside this uh, rope thing and uh, I'll go and I sew let me just put everything in to feel that everything is inside it's like to sleep you know everyone like to run away but we're gonna catch him okay so um I iron the bias where I cut it and now I'm going to go under the sewing machine and I will connect them together closer to the rope. Just don't let the rope run away from the inside the fabric. Be sure feel, feel with the finger that uh, you put the rope in and it's supposed to be in the uh, uh, this end of fabric you know here not going on the uh, edges of the fabric it's supposed to be in so be sure that's in till the end you know till the end here and not running around and it probably needs to have bigger wider stitch I did a little bit bigger the bias. I like to do a little bigger than smaller. Rather to cut some remains than don't have them and the outfit will become smaller. So I cut a little bit bigger all the time. So here we have a little bigger longer right. here I have the piece that I for the rope and uh, from now on I need to connect this piece here the ends I hope you can see let me show you I need to connect those two pieces so what I'm going to do is I open the fabric and I do match the center it is important to match the center of the fabrics and then I'll go under the sewing machine and connect those back and forth from the beginning need to change the stitch for smaller two and a half
back and forth at the end. Right, let me show you. That uh, I connect this piece, and this is what it became. More look alike already for a baby shoe. If you can see. So I need to connect this all. Here I connect the piece. And it looks like more as uh, a shoe. You can see here's the sole and uh, I will go and look for a center here so uh, when I'm looking for a center I'm not gonna cut with the scissors I'm not going to do the notch. I'm going to do the mark. Well, I'm done with thousand mistakes. Uh, ripping off and trying to make it again. And uh, this is the inside. I want to show you the uh, this uh, baby shoe. Were just, you know, from fabric. The clean work. You know, I did everything, you know, all the stitches. I didn't use serger. All the stitches are hidden. You know. And I'm um, going to turn on the other side. Yes, I did use a lot of uh, iron because I want this to look normal, you know, and nice. So this is the piece that with the rope that I told you, it goes all around the baby girl's shoe. And uh, this is the stick to close it. And uh, I add a flower as I said uh, before. Well, if you're going to put the foot, it's going to look beautiful, you know, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.